it's been a little while since I've stocked the Celestron Ultima 6.5 times 32 and to be honest with you I'd forgotten how good these are and that they maybe look like a, just a basic binocular but believe me the optics through these are absolutely superb but two of the things that really stands out with these is one the ultra wide field of view these give a field of view 9.2 degrees that's 9.2 and so if you're just starting out and you maybe struggle to track moving objects then that low magnification but believe me six and a half it's amazing how much detail you can pick out at distance so that low magnification makes makes them very easy uh, to hold steady that wide field of view so you can track moving objects really easily and also they're just 520 grams and because they're such a short body compared to uh, roof prism binoculars they just they're not obviously not front or back heavy and they're just so easy to use with a a lot of uh, uh, traditional para prisms uh, at first at first attempt well I did I, I picked them up and I I was looking for the focuser there but it's not it's a smaller one there like like you used to get with a lot of old classic binoculars and that moves it is silky smooth and you can't say that for a lot of para prism binoculars that is so easy to use as is the diopter adjustment which moves in, enough for you to adjust it but not so freely that it knocks out of place and another thing I like about these I'll just zoom in a little bit excuse me is the rubber eye cups uh, and uh, on forums in particular you get a lot of comments about people about rubber eye cups uh, maybe a little bit hard but these look at that it, they just bed into your eyes really really comfortably and so, you know so so easy on the eyes and you know and, uh, and uh, very easy to push down as well if, if you use spectacles so thumbs up for the uh, for the eye cups and so what about the optics well you do get considering they're just a 32 millimeter objective a very bright image and uh, oh, excuse me true professional uh, and as you can see a nice wide exit pupil there uh, and so better than you would think in low light conditions e excellent colours and contrast on a, on a nice uh, sunny day and as you get with a lot of poroprism binoculars the levels of chromatic aberration are very very low it, it is there on high contrast subjects but but yeah there there is less chromatic aberration I would say than some so called ED binoculars of the roof prism design with the um, field of view being so wide, yes, there is a bit of a drop off on the, on the edge. Uh, but to be honest, you, ha you hardly, unless you're specifically looking for that, you, you don't know that you're enjoying that picture window field of view so much that that doesn't really matter. So yeah, very little levels of uh, chromatic aberration and pin cushion distortion just that little uh, fall off on sharpness towards the outer 10 percent or so so let's just have a look at the accessories and uh, so you get a very very nice almost as big as the binoculars uh, which gives you an idea how small these are uh, just 520 grams I don't know if I mentioned that so that's a very nice paddy strap now if I'm being really 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 picky but believe me I, I am it the, the case it's a very nice uh, soft nylon case and uh, maybe I haven't checked through the range maybe it's a, the standard case they use with the 32 and the 42 maybe the 50 I don't know I've not checked yet and so uh, you can see there the velcro fastener and but when you put these in as you can see that there's plenty of space there and so when you put these to, to have them fit snugly in the velcro misses you have to put it like that and so the velcro doesn't fasten them so you, you still have to put it like that and uh, and so there is a little bit of movement inside but that that is um, I'm really being picky there trying to find a fault that's not really that important I, I, I would say so so yeah that that's the 
slash run Ultima 6.5 times 32 Pora Prism binoculars. A cracking little set for the for the beginner. Uh, in around about yeah, I think the retail price of these is, is 139 pound. Cracking optics, easy to use, fantastic for the starter, and that all important 9.2 degrees field of view. Link to buy in the description. You're obviously supporting our channel by doing so. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time.